Well, I'm up here on the, at the wedge. I've got, it's kind of windy here. Don't know if it's going to rain tonight or not. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I've got my little fire here. PD shelter overhead in case it rains or whatever. All right, so I'm cooking some rice in here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put this over the rice. All right, my rice is done. I really like that when you, you've got a hot meal and you want to keep it hot while you eat it. When you heat a skillet up like that, cast iron, that'll hold the heat for a good while. That way your meal will be nice and hot the whole time you're eating it. All right, so we'll peel off the cover, throw it in the fire. And then, I, and then this right here, I, all I need to do is just peel it back just a little bit. Yeah, it's pan hot. Okay, so there's my there's my rice. Now we'll get my fish here. We go fish and tomato basil sauce over rice that'll make a pretty nice meal right there I'll have to bless it but I'm gonna taste it first mm. that's some good cooking and that was just so darn easy to do. It's like, why not do it? It's uh, had a great, great night's sleep. The wind calmed down, finally. <laughs> and I've got my fire going. Got my fire going here, getting ready for some breakfast. I want to show you where I'm at right here. Flip the camera around 180 degrees. Here we go, from my camp. Right here, maybe 30 or 40 steps out here. Here we go, here we go. Here I am, the Grand Canyon of the San Rafael. And I'm going to show you an alternative use for the PD shelter fabric. This is what I did last night. And uh, <clears throat> I did a uh, good bit of this last year. Temperatures down into the 30s. So this is a, this is a fabric for a PD shelter. Well, this is the, the tip end of it up there and the big end down here. I'm just going to get in here, just like I normally would. Of course, I got my boots on, but... So you see, I can... I can pull this all up, all the way up here. I even, even long enough, I can, I can about pull it over my whole head. Well, actually, I, I generally wind up sleeping on my side in my hammock anyway, so I can actually put this stuff all the way over me, be right down inside of there, and I'm good to go. So it's a nice lightweight option. It packs down to. A, little size about like this so it doesn't take up much room it's very light and uh, you know it can do the trick for you um, versus carrying another 
like a light sleeping bag or something, uh, this can take the place of something like that. So I don't, I usually rarely ever sleep in a tent. I usually don't sleep under a tarp, only when it's necessary. I like to be able to see out. And uh, consequently, if rain or something is expected, I'll often set my poncho up as a hammock. I'll put a ridge line up like this, and then uh, might be might be too uh, windy to do this, but I just pull my I just pull my tarp just like that if it's too windy, or if it's it, pull my tarp like that if it gets rainy, then I'm covered. But I don't have to have it over me unless I act absolutely need it. That way it stows off the foot end of the uh, of the hammock there. Well, I'm uh, going to be going down over the uh, edge here, down onto there's a little flat area down here above the final cliffs that go down to the down to the uh, San Rafael River. I'm just going to see what kind of view I can get down on that flat right there. It's pretty windy up here, rains on and off. Got my poncho in my pack in case I need it. But so I'm going to be heading right down here now. A lot of this rock, it's really flat, sliding all over the place on me. I got to be a little careful where I step. That's where I came from up there. Now I'm heading out on a point here, which I hope will give me a nice overlook of the of the uh, of the uh, little Grand Canyon. Well, here's our scenery of part of the uh, Grand Canyon of the uh, San Rafael River. So. Back up that way and then down below me here, there's the river just winds and winds back and forth. And then heads on back up to more stuff up there. And as I've got older, I'm not as much of a daredevil as I used to be. <laughs> I'm not going clear out on the edge of this stuff. Well, here we are, Grand Canyon of the San Rafael, just a little Grand Canyon, not that big, but it's beautiful. Man, a gust of wind just about blew me over here. I got to be careful on the edges. Well, it's pretty windy up here. <laughs> that knocked me over several times. You get some gusts come up in there. They really, there's nothing to stop it, man. It's crazy. <laughs> there's a little canyon going up that way. I was hoping to get on over far enough here to see directly up that big canyon right there, but I don't know. Well, it looks like this is the end of the road for me. Right after that, right there, it turns into cliffs, and as you can see down there, a couple hundred foot tall cliffs all the way around there. I don't see how I can get down to there. And uh, I'm almost back up on top here. Back up almost on top again. Once I get up on top, I'll be about a half mile from my campsite. But uh, I'm pretty happy about it. You know, a little over a month ago, I had my heart surgery. I'm feeling really good out here. No problem with my heart at all. So it's just a matter of getting back into some condition now. We'll be rocking and rolling. <laughs> well, there's my view out through the valley. Sitting here at the bottom of this last little ledge here before I go up over the top. Well, just closing up camp here. Because we're out in the sand, and because I didn't haul in a bunch of rocks to make a 
fire pit. All I gotta do is pull all this over here. Not that I'm a zero trace guy necessarily, but it's nice when you can to uh, kind of leave, leave no trace behind. And it was easy to do this time. Well, adios camp. I'm out of here. Done till next week. We'll do it again somewhere. Anyway, take care. See you on the next go-round. Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation.